good luck to anyone who's taking their GCSEs and A-level exams this uh, this week. They got underway in full across the region for the first time in three years. Unlike last year, students had not been given advance information about the topics they're likely to be tested on. The regulator, Ofqual, says that the disruption caused by COVID will still be taken into account in grades that are awarded, but some students are worried they've been unfairly affected by the virus and more recently strike action. Mark Ansell reports from Wales High School. <laughs> they have a spring in their step despite exam season being back in full for the first time since Covid. Last year students knew the subjects that had come up in their papers and their teachers were involved in giving them their grades. This time GCSE and A-levels are almost completely being assessed in the exam hall. We did have a lot of time off in year 8 and year 9 and through year eight and year nine, you sit a lot of exams in the hall to prepare you for like when you're actually doing your GCSEs. So we haven't had that getting used to the exam conditions as other years have. I think to be honest, people forget that we've also lost quite a big amount of time. So we've like lost out on a lot of that studying that we needed, even though it was just key stage three and a lot of people don't think it's a significant for your GCSEs, it still impacts you a lot. I think we do need to have exams because some people perform differently in classroom to what they do in the exam hall. And I think for me personally, like my mock exam results were really different to the tests that I've done in classroom. And I think I did a bit better in the exam hall, to be honest. Head teacher Pepe Diasio feels for students doing exams this year, with teachers taking strike action recently and extra bank holidays because of the Queen's funeral and then King's coronation. There's a lot of lost learning. I can still remember, as you do, the butterflies in the tummy in that situation, knowing that so much can hang on it. And these, these, these exams have such an impact on your university placements, uh, your potential career aspirations. And so it's important that we do the best for our young people to make sure they're able to perform at their best. Exam regulator Ofqual says it's put measures in place to make exams more manageable. In GCSEs, there are formula and equation sheets for um, GCSEs in um, science and maths. And also, in terms of the exam timetable, we've asked JCQ, who kind of coordinate the timetable for the exam boards, to leave space between exams in a particular subject. These students are fully focused. They have biology GCSE tomorrow. We wish them luck. Mark Ansell, BBC Look North, Wales in Rotherham.